Well, hello and welcome to another Hubnut mailbag. Uh, spectacularly interesting, I think, this time. There's some wonderful things. And uh, also, hopefully, you can hear both of us. Yeah, because you've got a new gadget today. I've got a new gadget. So and it, didn't, it didn't work too well when we used it the other day. There was a lot of cutting out. But I'm hoping as we're not moving, the camera's not moving. <laughs> it will be fine. It will be fine. Yep. So, uh, also, apologies for any engine noise in the background. There's a little rotavator being very busy in this gorgeous sunshine. We're hiding from the sunshine in the shade um, because uh, we, we live in Wales. We're not used to this great burning ball in the sky. It's well, confusing because what is it? I haven't seen it for a long no. time. Well, let's dig in. We've got a lot to go through. Okay, okay. And we've got some stuff that could come your way as well. So <laughs> we shall start with a postcard. Ah, good old Martin Neumann in Ravensburg. Enjoy this 93-year-old photo. The Hublets pondered why the Marshmallow Man was on there. Yeah, <laughs> it's the original Bubendum, the uh, M Mr. Michelin. Uh, yeah, those suits aren't flattering. No, they, haven't they thinned him down more recently? I think so, mm, yeah. I like think he, he got chunky and then they slimmed him down, which obviously to reflect low profile tyres. Oh, I see. Now this is a very interesting um, present. Just cover up the address because it was actually sent to our actual house. It's an unexpected item from ECAS 2CV Parts. And uh, I've already opened it so I know what it is. And it's what I should have ordered in the first place. It would have made my life a lot easier. It is the special tool for uh, doing the nuts on your carburetor. So um, that, that's what you need to try and get in. Because you can't get in with a socket, you can barely get in with a spanner. So I have completed the job, but as a 2CV, you know you're going to be going there again. And this means if I need to check the tightness of the nuts, um, I don't have to dismantle things. I can just get this on and turn it like so. So that's a very useful And that item. was sent on behalf of a viewer. We yeah. haven't got any more information now, yeah, so thank got you. got a, a little slip. So a present sent on behalf of a viewer. A little slip there from ECAS 2CV Parts. So thank you to whoever ordered that. That was very kind of you. And what we got here is oh, everything this in here. Is quite amusing. Okay. Hi Ian. Unfortunately my charade has gone to the scrappy in the sky. Found this while tidying the garage. An extra 10 brake horsepower. <laughs> super Leggera. <laughs> oh yeah, there's, there's times of uh, Ellie the 2CV has been a bit Super Leggera. Uh, I forget what the actual translation is, but um, uh, lighter uh, space ah, frame type things. Leisure. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, so um, thank you. Well, I don't know what car, which car needs the extra 10 brake horsepower? Um, most of them. <laughs> we, we have another gift from Germany. This is from Hubert Kraus, or is it Krauser? I'm not sure whether you meant to pronounce E's uh, in Germany. Dear Ian, I love the channel. I call the Hubnut way fearless tinkering. Yes, <laughs> in other words, clueless before. tinkering. <laughs> the channel encouraged me to tinker myself. Not quite the Hubnut way. I still read the instructions <laughs> first. Well, how are you expecting to get anything done that way? This postcard like from an outstanding car museum in the small town of Einbeck in Germany. Uh, especially the small car collection is worth a visit if the situation is better again. Contains <laughs> two Depot Imbra Klein cars. Wagen. A Depot <laughs> Klein wagon. Yes, I like that. C yeah, contains two Inver cars. My offer of a test in my Lancia Kappa is still valid. Oh, well, um, Hubert, well, maybe we need to make our way over. He's in Aachen in Germany. I've got another friend um, in Aachen. Uh, he's big into his British Leyland cars, strangely. Um, but yeah, there is a photo of an Invercar, a Model 70, um, sitting on the racking in this museum. Fascinating. So that's another survivor. So many of them. When the government started scrapping all the Invercars it owned um, in the sort of early escaped. 2000s, they escaped all over the place. There were several in America. One got as far as Thailand. Uh, they really did get all over the place. And I, I found one in a museum in New Zealand. I was going to say, did you bump into uh, any other? There? Yeah, it was a tip in Delta. <laughs> Mm. which I was not expecting to find in New Zealand. L loads of earlier invalid carriages over there as well. Uh, the ones that look more like a wheelchair with an engine bolted to them. Well, if you're drinking tea, I could do the next one. Why do you want to do the next one? Yeah. Okay. Well, you do that one. While I am um, okay. taking another card from Martin Neumann, uh, Trailer Queen in front of my shop in Weingarten. What a beauty. And uh, it's, oh, what is it actually? 
I'm not actually sure what that is. I thought I knew what it was, and now I don't. Oh. And a big fat hello to the Hubnut kids. We'll <laughs> pass that one on, they are away at the moment. Uh, yeah, what is that? Suzuki, maybe? I don't know. What, what it's interesting, it? they're back somewhere between a charade and like a 107. It's a funny little thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. How Look. curious. I mean, it's, half, it's sort of half there, isn't it? Yeah. Or could it be a Mitsubishi, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Oh, maybe you, Martin you, could enlighten us. Yeah, let us know, Martin. Yes. We would love to know. Okay. So this is from Amber at Driven 24-7. Do you want to just flash up the very nice pink sticker? Oh, yeah, there we go. That will be going on the lovely Shemi, that one. I hope that's focusing. This camera's not the quickest. Now, Amber is blaming her parents for watching your videos. Oh, okay. Um, Gina and Jerry. So... She says it's her dad who uh, got her into cars. Mm -hmm. We've watched some of Amber's videos. Um, and Amber herself, she's got a Honda Civic, which Furious Driving did a Fu collaboration yeah, Matt, with, Matt, didn't he? Yeah, Matt has driven yeah. that. That's a lovely looking car. Beautiful car, yeah. beautiful car. I know she was pondering selling it the other day, but I don't know if she really means that. Unwise, I would <laughs> yeah. suggest. But yeah. then you can't keep them all on the, on the, um, the struggle. And then she's got an Abarth as well. Mm -hmm. Her parents have got one as well, if memory serves correctly. Um, and her dad has got some really interesting Fiat. Oh yes, I've seen yes. that video. Yes. And there's a little um, cabriolet, Ford Escort cabriolet tucked away in there as well. But uh, apart from that, he's got some really nice <laughs> Ollie. cars. <laughs> Ollie. But Ollie. yes, Amber. Um, oh, I didn't know she had a dog. Oh, oh see, we got we got we got two, we got two dogs mm. now. But um, yeah, Amber. She's got some great little videos out there, and she said there's quite a few stickers, but this pink one will have pride of place on Shemi. So after, yeah. she, after she's had a wash. After she's had a wash. Yeah. Oh, she's going to look well stylish. Oh, there's mm. a sparkly one as well. Look. So driven 24-7. That is Amber. Worth going and having a look, folks. Thank mm. you, Amber, for those. Sparkly and much. pink is very much me. I'm sorry to be a typical girl. Talking of sparkly, this one's quite shiny. <laughs> shiny. So, like, like all the others, these have been sent to the um, Hubnut PO box address uh, here in Wales. Ooh. To the hub nuts, as Ian's a fellow bus fancier, I thought these bits would be appreciated. Oh, Graham I think King. This one's, I think this, there's two that are. Oh, <gasps> oh yes. <laughs> Top trumps with coaches. That's a Bova Futura there. Uh, remarkable design. I'm going to make sure this actually focuses on it because the Bova Futura uh, is, is just one of my favourite coaches of all time. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, let's see if we can get a focus on there. Come on, camera. There we go. This design, very futuristic, with very rounded snout on it, came out in 1984, I think it was. Crikey, really? Yeah. And it produces 288 horsepower from its 11.6 litre engine. Uh, Bova got swept up into what's now VDL, and I think they still make a derivative of this coach, albeit the front end isn't quite so bulbous anymore. Very futuristic. So, oh, major geek points on offer there. Thank you. <laughs> we'll put those to one side. We're building up a collection. I know. Of, of top, top trumps. trumps. And I like spy buses and taxis. Now, I don't know if anybody loved these when they were a child, but the I spy buses, are, uh, I spy books are fantastic. And also the Find 50 as well. Did you ever do those? Uh, no, I you didn't. You didn't? No. You'd have loved that. It's all about spotting things on the road as I'm, you go I'm along. I'm just sweeping through for some hot... Bus action. Leyland National action. This one seems a bit London centric. That was, that that looks says rather Didcot. like my school bus. Yeah, Leyland National 2. Mm. Uh, Leyland Leopards or oh, Cetras. Cetras are fun. I think Cetras are Spanish. They have um, big, lovely sounding V8s in the back. Uh, Mercedes Benz, apparently. So, yeah, thank you. But yeah, these are brilliant, mm. brilliant little books. And well, there's what they came in. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to try and stick to little things. Okie dokie. We've all got a letter with this one as well. Hello Team Hubnut. While searching online for a suitable tool for removing motorcycle exhaust springs... Oh, pardon me. <laughs> it occurred to me this was also bit handy for some forthcoming brake hubnuttery on Tuck. Alas, I doubled the order and thought I'd forward one on. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I'm aware you have since sorted the brakes. It will fare better with long nose pliers... Oh, van long nodes pliers when attempting to avoid the flange yes big flange mm, and there's a collection of rover cars oh mm. 
So a collection of river cars near South Queens Ferry where I collected Rita. It's not quite where I collected her from, that's where I headed. I just wanted to park next to the bridges. Ah, a spring hook. So you just use this to hook onto the spring. So oh, that looks a much that's better that's really idea. helpful. And that will, yeah, get, yeah. that will get around the flange, whereas brake pliers, brake spring pliers, yes. just too bulky, you couldn't get them in. No, that's, that's really, really helpful, having seen that job. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, who was that from? That's Simon Scooty Man. So that's not his actual surname, I suspect. <laughs> Thank you for that. Shall so, so I go to this big box? Yes, I like the big box. Okay, the big box down here. I'm, I'm not lifting it. Oh, I don't know how heavy this box is. Oh, hello. I'll start with a letter. Hi, Ian and Miss Hubnut. Greetings from deepest Somerset. Please find enclosed the genuine Daihatsu workshop manuals for Shemi and various other Daihatsu tat. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, Darren. I think Darren was in touch with me. Also found a 1986 motor show guide. Oh, lovely. Yes. Please feel free to burn, save, put in landfill or give away. <laughs> Uh, I don't think you're going to be wanting to give any of this Keep away. Keep up the good work-ish. <laughs> so, one thing... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Genuine um, Daihatsu polo shirt. And that's a small... Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? That's very convenient. I'm, I'm definitely not small anymore because someone keeps feeding me delicious food. Against my will. Oh, it's not against his will. Oh, this looks nice. It's yeah, and that's smart. Shirt. Oh, I'm going to have to get another Daihatsu myself. Uh, uh, well, one. I have a suggestion for another Daihatsu. Oh, oh, yes, you do, don't you? Because you saw one the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting little motorsport sticker. That is cool, I like that. Yeah. I'd be too scared to put that anywhere. Here we go, here is the... Uh, oh, there's all sorts in here. Yes, do you want to uh, pass me the packaging so I can get it out of your way? Okay. Okay. Dear girlfriend, have the packaging. Thank you, darling. So, Motor Show 1986, your future on wheels. That's the Motor Show in Birmingham. Look at that. Uh, cars sadly don't really look like that, although that's a Mark III Granada. There, pretty much. And uh, see what we've got. Oh, yes. <laughs> a catalogue of the cars on show. These things used to be essential. A list of exhibitors, a map, and then pictures of all oh, the cars. Yes. Oh, yeah, we've gone to Miss Hubnut's favourite page straight away, Ford. I was going to go and see what Citroen have got. The Colt Car Company. Oh, wow. They um, imported Mitsubishis and uh, got a lovely shot of the Mitsubishi Lancer Estate there with its diagonal rear lights. Lovely, lovely things. I'd love to drive one of those. And Dacia as well. Um, but it's Citroen I'm looking for. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Oh, look, the CX. CX Turbo Safari. So, uh, still a few years to go on those. Yeah. Did, did they mention the 2CV at all? <laughs> 2CV was selling very well in 1986. Oh, there, she there she is, yes. C221 Nan. I wonder if C221 Nan is still out there. Uh, no doubt you're all heading to the um, Vehicle Inquiry website. 100%. To um, check whether it's still on the road. And Coleman Mill. Now, Coleman Mill's an interesting company. Uh, build limos and hearses. Uh, because they actually imported some um, Ford Falcons and Fairlanes and turned oh. them into hearses and limos. Uh, so there There's are one some that tootles around here, there. isn't there? Yeah. yeah. I, I almost have a fit every time I see it. Yes. I have a photo somewhere Guess of any way parked with it. Mm. Gosh, it's such a big haul. I've had to uh, stop for tea. Are you okay there? Yeah. Oh, 1987 Peugeot model range. 205, 309, 305, 505. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I need to drive another 505. I've driven a 505 Estate and it was marvellous. But the Estate has entirely different rear suspension to the saloon. And I would like to drive one of those. Look, 505 <laughs> V6. Are there any left? I have to think. Oh, Nissan price list from 1986. A patrol would cost £11,500. Crikey, definitely. If it was around, it cost a bit more now. Oh, and there's the brochure to go with it, with a sunny ZX Coupe on the front, called all sorts of different things, depending on market. Never driven one. Quite interesting cars. Uh, Bluebird hatchbacks and estates. Oh, and the Prairie with those famous 
Um, sliding doors and no B-pillar. Lovely. Oh. oh my gosh, there's so much in here. I, I know. I think we may have to speed through this. We've got I had to Lancia. Uh, we've got oh. Lifestyle, Lifestyle yes. and options for Austin Rover. Let's see if they've got any awful shell suits in here. Who usually did clothing. Did you get them? Two ones there. Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, there you go. You go caravanning in your Rover 800. Who'd want to go caravanning? Uh, we do. Yeah, we want to go. No, we car. don't. Yeah, we do. We don't. We do. There's a price list to go with that oh, one. Thank you. And the colour guide to go with oh, that one. Wow. Austin Rover. Cashmere gold clove brown. Oh, look at that silver leaf metallic. Lynx bronze. My dad's Montego was love Lynx it. bronze. What oh. a lovely colour. Do you know, my dad's wasn't any of these colours. No, no, they did vary from year to year. Mm. Uh, there we go. Carefree motoring. Uh, basically, sign your mm. life away. I think, I think that is. The cars brochure. I had several of these. Cars being uh, the cars of Austin Rover, like the um, MG Metro Turbo. Well, my favourite was the GTA, but I think we're a bit early for GTA. I think I think you need to spend some time going through all these brochures. Yeah, I need to find videos. a good way of filming brochures. It's quite difficult. I maybe ask if people would rather if that was a hub <gasps> nut or hub notes thing. Get into these Talbot Express. We saw one the other day, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and there was yeah, a facelift did. one. It was like on a J plate, 1992. Um, All of the beige Talbot. and brown. So though. even though Talbot had died as a car brand um, by um, the well the, the mid 80s, they kept, carried on with vans. Mm. Talbot Express Pullman. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I want that vehicle. That would be a good mobile hub nut central. We don't want a caravan. Look at that. It's got six wheels. <laughs> Oh wow, that makes all the difference. Look, she's loving it in her high heel shoes. She is. Mm. She feels so glamorous. Exactly. Uh, what we got here, Renault this time. Build a better van. Let's have a quick look in here. <laughs> yeah, the Renault 5 van. Uh, careful you don't fill it too quickly. So the extra was the one with the bulky bit on the back, but we did get them as a basic um, cool, little van. Is fact, there, there is a Renault extra. Very funky. Did you know Peugeot did a 205 version? But um, we didn't see it in the UK. There's quite a few of them still in France. Um, van price list. This is fascinating stuff. Yeah. Austin Rover again, there we go, Maestro van. I had one that colour. In fact, if you go back to the early days of Hubnut, when it was still classic Hub, I had a Maestro van. There's a rare Metro van I mm -hmm. spotted online earlier today. And then we're into the workshop manuals. I like, oh yes, oh yes. This is what we need. This is very much what we need. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to go into it because, yeah, look, look look at the thickness of that. Okay, so, for him, airbag system. that's like a nightmare. For me, uh, that's lovely. I'm going to be reading that. I will take that one home. Currently, I've got the um, Sana. Another ones brochure. At home. Oh, Sherrod! Yeah. So, yeah, I think we've seen one of these before Ocean Blue Metallic. Yes, I'm just. Is? Pondering that with if the lilac one is there. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, is that the little first? Oh my god, look at that! Daihatsu pen! Look at this Daihatsu oh, stuff! It's a Daihatsu uh, pencil, isn't it? Oh yeah. That's a little first aid kit. Oh well, it is a tiny first aid kit. We've got um, bandages and things in here. I'm not sure you'd want to use it now. It may no, but you wouldn't. You'd keep it for posterity. Yeah. Well... That, that's lovely. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and then we've got more workshop manual. Gosh. And f many, many packing peanuts. <laughs> I'm going to do a swap from reading the Sana stuff to reading the Sherrod yeah. stuff. This is great because it's really quite difficult to get hold of Sherrod stuff. Yeah, it's got steering mechanism, uh, engine stuff brakes perfect fantastic. that's what we need because we are lacking fantastic. actual instructional yes, stuff we are oh and a parker pen darren thank you so much for this stuff this is this absolutely is, marvelous. when i opened this one i was so excited yeah well there's the box for that i do a little squeak yeah absolutely extraordinary thank you very that much that is fantastic that is so kind thank you thank you and i will definitely be wearing that polo shirt <laughs> 
Right, we better move swiftly on. I'm just going to pause and drink more tea. I'm going to do my driving test. Um, shall, I, shall I wear that in my Daihatsu with my Daihatsu shirt? <laughs> yeah, I'll see if we can get you a baseball cap as well. Oh, what have we got yes. here? Another, another box. Another box? Is it from the same person? Mm, don't think so. I couldn't find a name on this, but that's not to say it's not at the bottom. That's a lovely warm looking top, yeah. isn't it? Extra large. How rude. <laughs> Obviously uh -huh. accounting for my cooking. That looks That's splendid. lovely and warm, isn't Thank it? You. Yeah. And we've got a car half cover. As I have a car with a leaky sunroof, that's a decent solution. <laughs> half cover might whole cover some of our cars. Yeah. What have we got here? I think it's got some information on the end. Tie rod end outer. But what car do we think it's for? There's definitely an outer tie rod. I end. thought I saw something Primera y in there, so it might be Primera. Oh, could be. Again, you know, is it possible people have emailed me and said I'm going to send this stuff through and I've just failed to um, remember. <laughs> but we've got a part number so we can look it up. So that's good. And another one of those by the look of it. I can't possibly imagine that you would forget something. Oh no, it seems most unlikely, yeah, doesn't it? Most unlikely. Oh yes, Nissan Primera. That looks like a brake hose, I think. Yeah, definitely a brake hose. Wow, there we go. Not entirely sure how much longer that car is going to be on the fleet, but should it depart the parts uh, will before go the to parts you. are used, the parts will go with it. Mm -hmm. And Have you found a name yet? Because I couldn't find a name. No, there doesn't be any name there. What have we got here? I think it's another car cover. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, thank you very much, whoever sent thank those you. in. The mystery person. I'm, I'm a bit wary of um, car covers, so if you don't see them being used, the main reason it gets so windy, especially up here, it's very exposed um, um, up at the storage, uh, they can cause as much damage as you're trying to prevent. So you stop the water getting in, but the cover blows around and ruins your paint. So uh, very difficult to know what to do with covers. Yeah, but if in the unit, if you were looking for extra cover, that yeah. wouldn't be a bad thing. No, not at all. That's a mm. good idea, actually, because of the water being blown mm. in. So that's a very good thing. See? See, she's good. And we've got the Spotter's Handbook, Cars, Motorbikes and Planes. That could be useful because I'm absolutely rubbish on motorbikes. And that's um, an Osborne book. Do you have the Osborne books when you were a kid? I certainly had some, yeah. Oh, look! Scorecard. Oh, yes. Ooh. That's in Skyline 240K gets you 15 points. I think you're more likely to see a Ferrari 308 GTB and that gives Fiat you 25 points. Fiat 25 points for a Fiat Panda. Oh. Hmm. Ah, does that... Mm, probably doesn't count for the modern ones. Australian cars. Oh yeah, we've even got Holden in here. I mean, you wouldn't have seen many of those over here. And there's, there's the motorbikes. People who like motorbikes. That's what motorbikes look like. <laughs> so, Very informative, you. dear. Yeah. Well done. That is brilliant. I are expert. Oh, and we've got a load of magazines. I'm only going to pull one of them out, and it's going to be this one, I think. Which has nothing at all to do with the Fair Maiden. Win a midget. That's dating it somewhere, isn't it? Well, look at that rather glamorous photo. That's um, showcasing the Renault 18. It's on a tea plate, so yeah, 1970. So on trial, what a headline. Yeah. Is, is a Renault really? I've, I've got loads of these, loads of old, old auto car magazines. I love digging them out every now and then. Oh, so you don't get shots like that anymore where the cars are cornering and actually displaying body roll because they have soft, comfortable suspension. Would love to drive an 18, should be able to make that happen at some point. But yeah, lot, lots more auto cars in there, so thank you very much. I haven't seen a letter with that one either. I should have a little look. Meanwhile, I'll dig into another bag. No letter Aha. in here either. Now, I think this relates to a parcel from the last lot. It will make sense when you open it. So she says. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's a tiny little drone. Oh wow. Do you remember with the head... head... Uh, headlamps. Oh Sorry. yes. Headlamps. Yeah. Gosh, that is a dinky little thing. That is nifty. We're yeah. going to play with that. 
Yeah, not today though, because... It's um, a bit breezy. Yeah, it, it feels very light. I think that will fly around a lot. But, wow. I can see a mini hub nut covered in that. Yep, yeah, I can see that definitely happening. Yep. It's a strange their birthdays have already gone already. What <laughs> <laughs> you give them things for their birthdays? Yeah, thank you. That's a very generous gift. That is gift. lovely. Was it Eddie? With the headlamps? It was Eddie, yes. So thank you for that, Eddie. And I tell you what, the headlamps, we haven't managed to get them under a car yet, but we do torches. use them, yeah. yeah. We do use them for the dog walks oh, late at amazing. night, and they are brilliant. Game changer. Brilliant. Absolute game changer. And what have we got here? More magnetic trays. <laughs> if someone reckons I'm going to lose the two I've already got, how dare they? No, that's very likely, to be fair. Got plastic also, feet to prevent scratches. I think they're probably optimistic that you, if they give you loads of magnetic trays, you might put stuff in them yeah. while you're doing jobs. It could happen. So we've got a square one and a round one. So um, thank you for those. They will definitely be useful, especially as I tend to have several projects on the go at once and bits are always getting lost. Oh, blimey. Oh, have you seen? Uh, I know when this one is. From Sean and Cook in Northern Ireland. Put onto my lap. I saw these ooh, 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 ooh. in Lidl and immediately thought of you. So, hands across the Irish Sea. We love what you do. To Miss Hubnut, the Hublets, yourself, the wee dog, Ellie, two dogs now, took Foxanne, Giselle, Shimmy, Primera, Peggy de Primera, Sana, and Altsit. Oh, thank you so much. Gurramoygut. Well, I think BH is a V because, like, Siobhan, isn't it? Possibly. But I'm not going to insult people by trying yeah. to pronounce. But I can tell you this one. Diolch yn fawr iawn. Give Ellie and Shemi's headlamps a wee flash. We will do. Yes. Yep. And <laughs> not at the moment because Ellie's increasingly in pieces. Very appropriate for today. Oh, Eggies. It's Easter Sunday. And many sweets. Are we, are we going to eat these before the kids get back? Shall we eat these before the kids Is get back? Is that another magnetic tray? Yes, dear. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> It's weird, you lot are all in... There's always a theme, isn't yeah. there? Last time it was multimeters, this time it's magnetic trays. It's like they're all in tune. Yeah. So, well done, everybody. Uh, jumping on to this one. We've got a letter in here. No letter. Uh, something for all the Hubnut family. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, is it? Ooh, it's, it's an ooh. Uh, that's a lead you plug into I don't fully really understand what that is it's a thing you plug into a headphone <laughs> socket so what else do you do with it I don't know no no idea we've got uh, day oh, material oh lovely mm. <laughs> did you sniff it yeah a oh, Citroen look. 2CV keyring that's lovely Daihatsu Sherrard oh. keyring yes which is good because we've had a, a we've had a fatal issue with a previous die had to keyring. Little Batman. Little Batman. Oh, little trainer. Another one of these things. I don't fully understand what these are. We will work that out. Yeah. Oh, it's little trainers as well. Look at those. Thank you very much. Yeah, little trainers and everything. Thank you. That's a nice selection of sweet things. I'm excited about the key rings that are too nice to use. Or do you want that one for for Shemi? Thank you. And I just did exactly what you did. Exactly, you see, it's not so scary after all. Oh, we've got a smart power bank. Mm. Oh, it's solar as well. So, uh, that's very handy. I'm going to get that straight out, because I'm always running out of power of various things, and it's sunny. So, I'll put that down there in the sun, we'll get that charging up. It's marvellous. I'll keep that box. It's going to charge for at least six to seven hours. Okie doke. Apparently. Oh, and we got some brochures of a oh, naughty nature. Oh, naughty. More Australian cars, and the industry haven't made them. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that VL Commodore. Want, still want a VL Commodore. Have, um, but I, I, that's Holden. I need, I, is there a Ford page? Please say there's some AU action in here. Falcon. Yeah, it's an FG though. I was hoping for an AU because they're so deliciously ugly and beautiful at the same time. Oh. Uh, we've got a fair lane, which is the larger version of the AU. Um, so that's, that's pretty close. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, careful now. Trying to hurry because we'll run out of battery on this camera. Sayat <laughs> Malaga brochure. 
Wow! So at Malaga, very much um, a saloon version of the Fiat Strada or Ritmo built in Spain. And they did sell them in the UK. A car believed extinct, I think. Mm. Uh, no more, mate. Nigel, he's probably got one hidden away. Uh, Daihatsu range in 1990, including the applause. The applause is uh, a hatchback, but looks like a saloon. And then we've got one of my favourites, the old G11 Sherrard on the back. They're lovely cars. I think I had this brochure myself, because I had a thing for Daihatsu. I worked at a Daihatsu dealer cleaning cars. My very first job. One of those being dissected lo locally. Sadly. This is a, a Leyland Cars All Models cat Catalog. It's still in the cellophane wrapper. Oh, now. So I can't open that. No. Oh, that's beautiful. Le illustrations are glorious as well, aren't they? Yeah, well, and a book that's all advertisements on the um, Triumph saloon cars from 47 right through to uh, 1981. And uh, there's a lovely Triumph 2000 estate. Beautiful I'm sure car. some of our friends would love that on Twitter. Yeah. For um, utilising them. Gosh, lovely. So, yeah, thank you very much. Did we get to the bottom of who this was from? No, I can't No, we had a little note anything. saying just some sweet things, didn't yeah. we? So, uh, any clues on the outside? None at all. No, so thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I need to get a shift on. We are going to run out of battery. We've got this. We've got this. Oh, you've had this one out yet? No. Shall we do it? I'll just while you get another parcel. I'm in. Car drink holder. Because no. Peggy the Primera has no cup holder. This was sent to our local post office, so I think somebody sent that. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Uh, that could definitely be useful. Definitely. And Peggy actually has, has none. We have a collection of Practical Classics magazines. Uh, where's that one from? 2002. Uh, when Danny Hopkins, the current editor, was still a staff writer, I think he was at the time. I'm just going to see if I can... Uh, uh, in fact, there is Danny, looking absolutely splendid. Uh, nice work there, Danny. Uh, that's a very sexy shot. What a manly man he is. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you for that. Fine selection of um, old magazines. I like those. I've, I've got a stash of um, old practical classics. At first glance, none of those. With love from Darlington, there's a Renault Scenic Driver's Handbook. Doesn't cover the RX4, because that's what we want. That's we, what we, we want. We want one, haven't we? Yes, very much so. Um, I don't know if it does or not. Might just be the standard ones. But yeah, thank you, Driver's Handbook for the Renault Scenic. We don't have one. We, we might well I think do. we should have one. Uh, what we got here? Oh, jeepers. Bus. <laughs> Enjoying your content as always. Regards to you, Miss Hubness and Hublet. Hope you find the magazine of interest. Hope you get to drive one. Uh, there's Buses Magazine. And uh, on the front, this has come from Jack. Now retired. Uh, it's a splendid MCW Metro bus in time saver form. These had a four-speed VoIF transmission, coach seats, and uh, did some of the major routes over kind of the express service. Uh, regular metro buses, certainly in the Midlands, only a three-speed gearbox, and uh, not very good off hills. Oh my gosh, it's it's an absolute <laughs> metro bus fest. <laughs> Look at that, including the guided busway one right down here at the bottom uh, that they did for a time, and then realised was pretty much entirely pointless. I, I love that it came that in one. an Arriva envelope yeah, as well. Yeah, <laughs> love that one very much. We got this one. Another motor show guide. Don't know where this has come from. It's in 1997. Uh, well, yes, this looks like new cars to me, but we're talking Mark IV Golf. Daihatsu Move. Oh, lovely. Daihatsu Move. Love the Daihatsu Move. Uh, Citroen onto the Zara by then and the Berlingo. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> some men. Jim. Well oiled some, men. Some well oiled men. Casually. Uh, I think they've got the wrong target market there. Uh, well, well, maybe they haven't. Maybe it's aspirational. Ooh. You could be a well oiled man. <laughs> Such newfangled things as a Toyota Prius. That'd be an Ooh. interesting read as well. Yeah. I'm going to have to find more time for just sitting with a cup of tea and um, looking at these things because yeah, I, I don't have, have a lot to, of time. You might have to not play the MMG drive or truck. Yeah, I like those games. Yeah, I know you like those games. Uh, these are from Ian Jackson. 
And what have we got here? New Primera. Oh, wow. P11 Primera brochure. That's lovely. Reliant Rebel Road Test. Rebel being the first small four-wheeled Reliant. <laughs> and uh, Tea Cozy Knitting Pattern. That's something for you to be getting on I'll with, I'll have to dear. give that a go. Yeah. And 1958 Motor Show Guide. Wow. Thank you very much for those. That's uh, very interesting. I think we're about to run out of battery. It's very unfortunate we've still got some items left. We're going to have to switch cameras. The problem is the other camera doesn't pick up two mics, I don't think. Um, we'll find out in a moment. So, How returning in a moment. Much? Not very much because it's flashing red. Oh. It's practically dead. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the DJI Osmo action camera, even if you used a clever cable, won't take two inputs. So, we're now on a single microphone, which is mine. Uh, so, apologies for the um, sudden change of sound. Ooh, Reliant Fox brochure. Mm. I've got several of these now. Uh, but yeah, look at the dainty little um, hubcaps on the back. Splendid. They look glorious, don't they? Yeah, they look such happy little trucks. We should do, really, because no one knows what Fox Anne is, uh, because she's got no badges at all. Uh, someone did give me a, it was a genuine new old stock sticker, and it didn't stick, unfortunately. Uh, a Saab range. Thank you to Mr. and Miss Hudnut, just a few old brochures I've had in the loft for many years. Or you might enjoy peru perusing them at your leisure. <laughs> leisure. <laughs> Thanks for all the fantastic content, Toby. Well, thank you very much. Uh, the um, Saab 95 and 900. Uh, I would quite like a 95. Uh, they're very pleasant cars. Uh, one of very few cars I've driven for something like six hours and got out of thinking, have I just driven anywhere? Unlike it was just that comfortable. Primera. Unlike the Primera. Hyundai Stella. Oh yes, there is one for sale at the moment. The gold medal one I drove um, has been for sale lately. Uh, needs some work for an MOT though. Uh, yeah, splendid Stellar. That's um, very good. And Pony, that's the facelifted Pony. So Pony was the first car from Korea, I think. Mm -hmm. Certainly the one, first one we got in Europe. The Fiat Regatta. Uh, with some, I always thought the wipers looked quite awkward on that. Look, it's barely covering the passenger side at all. That's the first oh. car on your brochure. That's just not not good. I'm not sure everybody would see it in the same way as you. No, maybe not. I haven't got the estate. That's a shame. The estate's got a little fold down, extra bumper section, so you get a nice smooth floor. So that's very interesting. I don't think we've got a letter with that. No. So thank you, no, whoever. You had a letter. Did I? Was it, it was that one? Totally I'm losing track. There's so much stuff. You people are so generous and you send all this amazing stuff. Uh, I need filing cabinets. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> filing? Yeah. You? I'm writing to say thanks for all the excellent videos you produced. Oh, thank you. I've been watching since your Banganomics vlog video. That was a long time ago. Wear my petrol head hippie t-shirt and hat with pride. Oh, thank you. Penny's old brochures and force of youth. That's from Alistair McKenzie. Yeah, look at this. We've got the Allegro 3 right at the end of production. Probably my favourite of the Allegros. I like the slightly awkward, let's try and modernise the Allegro looks. Aww. But the seats in them are extraordinary. Oh, look. That's a marvellous yeah, picture. That's testing the old hydrogas Whee! suspension there. Yeah, well. Yeah, the seats are amazing in these later ones. Oh, and how much brown would you like, sir? Mm, All of it, please. Brown. All the browns. Yeah. Yeah, just look at those seats. Aren't they inviting? No head restraints, of course. You would have had to pay extra for those. Or go for a posh model. But yeah, that's... Uh, oh, that Orange. interior especially. Plush. That's the HLS. That's a, 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 that was a crow going oink. Yeah, that's quite familiar. Yeah. And uh, the estate as well. Wondrous looking things. Oh, so, Yeah. But Allegro's were always built at Longbridge, I think. No, it just on the back, Nuffield Press. Yeah. And then we got the Skoda pickup. Weirdly also sold as a Volkswagen Caddy. With a little Volkswagen grill on. I think I one of those on Oh, that's just open. There we go. Oh, it's a big folder, yeah. is it? Yeah. So yeah. that's based on the Skoda Felicia, which is an evolution of the uh, Favorit. Skoda's first front wheel drive car. And we've got one big item left. It's got... Um, Chevronic Centre on it. 
what have we got in here? What is it? I have no idea what this is. It's not the grill blind thing, is it? Is that, is that the grill blind? Why are you asking? Oh, she's facing the wrong way. I have been after one of these for quite a while. And it is getting quite cold at the moment. So if we took Giselle home, we would have to do that. But I wonder if that's what it is. It slots in plate front of the grill to sort of reduce the airflow through. But maybe that cutout is to stop it um, blocking the starting handle. I can't remember if I ever had that starting handle, but I certainly can't find it now. So if that is a grill blind, we'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a play with that. And uh, now we're on to wish items. We've had a lot of them. I think someone is really taking the pee now. Well, also because they have different names on them. Yeah. The name on that one so these are all clean. Don't worry, this is family viewing. Just this them. one is Hubs Nuts. <laughs> and oh, it's a wish It's a wish t-shirt black this must be costing someone a fortune I still get we have no idea who's behind this uh this one oh who's it to but hub. hub it is described as a wish t-shirt with a value of 61 pence what? and it is it's, it's a, a wish t-shirt i'm sorry for the rustling these bags are very noisy uh hub butt again contents wish t-shirt it's another Wish t-shirt. Uh, this one, Bum Hug. And it's another Wish t-shirt. Always extra large. And then this one, Flub a Lub. Women's Socks. No, it isn't. It's more bloody Wish t-shirts. Loads of them. Different colours and sizes. Yeah. Uh, this one is to, uh, it was actually two hub nuts. Oh, Ooh. oh, there's, a oh um, there's also a chicken. Just, just, oh. hello. Chicken just comes to say hello. Oh, doesn't that make a lovely shot? Chicken and oh, two yeah. CV, don't they go together very well? I should stop and take a photo really, but no, we want to get this done. We've got to get back. It's lunchtime. We've got. <laughs> <laughs> pants. Thank you for I the think that's from SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, I've never seen such things. We've got uh, what are these? Uh, Purest natural hemp fibers. Okay. Is there, is there a, an import packet leaflet on this? No. No, no. I just I made you a wonder bag of wish. Oh, it's a wonder bag of wish. We've got yes. some plastic clips. Um, pot clips, apparently. Pot clips? Hmm. What, what is meant by that? And another one of these um, hemp things. They're um, rolling papers. Oh, okay. Fine. They're not already rolled. Hemp rolling paper. Okay. <gasps> A Daihatsu yeah. bonnet mascot. Which are legal, apparently. Are legal? Are illegal. Yeah, I'd say that's illegal. Because that one doesn't seem to have any... It's um, not friendly to pass... Uh, yeah. What? Oh, climbing. Um, oh! That one's going in the other oh, pack. Oh. How did I miss that? Yes. Uh, what, what is this? Ooh. Oh, some letters. Yes, yeah, but it spells Hubnut. Oh! Yeah. Some, some chrome cool. letters that spell Hubnut. I wonder which car will put those on. Uh, your skin, your way. Yeah, but look what it is. Fungal nail renewal. Oh, so if you've got fungusy nails, this will sort you right out. <laughs> Always trust some stuff that says clinically something. Clinically proven. And particularly Two days. that it is moist in the packet. It is moist in the packet. I don't want to open that packet. Um, Apparently, blackhead removal strips. Okay. I'm not sure how they're meant to work. I don't currently have any blackheads. Oh, look, it's a Wish t-shirt. No, no, oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Polyester blue chef apron with two pockets. I know, right? I'm on it. Yeah. 
footnote. <laughs> I don't know what this is. No. <laughs> Please put a DC sheet on this side. That's it. Now the description is absolutely unreadable. The value is 0 0.01 pence. Classic. The shipping was £2.74 from Shenzhen City. We have no idea what that is. Thank you. And uh, what's that? A sticker I don't quite understand. I know what I understand. That's going in the other pile. <laughs> Apparently, yes. And uh, I think that's a, Nissan another Nissan key ring. That's nice. Should we get that out? Because you can't yeah. actually see it in there. I'm just doing a count. Two, three, four, five. Whoa, whoa, we're not finished yet. No, 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 seven. Eight, there we go. Lovely eight, Nissan key ring. Ten so far. Maybe I'll keep that one as a memento because oh, we've already got a Nissan key ring that someone kindly sent to us. I think that's all of those. Is that empty? I've got one more package here. Uh, who was this sent to? Butthub. <laughs> it's. It's, what could it oh, be? Oh, 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 Add it to your collection, dear. Thank you very much. And there's another one here, another package. This was sent to Footnut. Uh, Wish t-shirt. <coughs> this is just getting silly now, but thank you for how many? 12. 12 Wish t-shirts. They will almost certainly come in useful for something. What's this? Did we miss this? Yeah. Is, is this safe? I found it and it's safe. Okay. Oh, wow. A little clock. It's a little Citroen branded clock. Ellie needs a clock. Oh, there we go then. And it's got a little clip, so I can attach it to the, um, to the uh, heat vent she hasn't got. <laughs> How's that attached to that? I don't know. Those are all the bits that were in the packet, so I assume yeah. they're together. Well, thank you. That, that's very nice. I don't know where that one's come from. Ocean, do not eat. It's an entire packet of ocean. And I'll make sure I don't eat that. Right, we, we are finished, that is all the items, but we have a little bonus to go the other way. Uh, if these items are of use to you, please email in hubnut.org, I will post them to you. We have a set of brake pads. Uh, these are kit, uh, we've got um, 16662 or WVA23507. Uh, Daihatsu YRV, Copen, Trevis, oh the Trevis is a funky little thing, uh, Suzuki Super Carry um, or Ignis um, for some dates. So if any of that makes sense to you and you're thinking, oh yeah, that's the one for me. But not to Shemi. <laughs> no, they don't fit Shemi. Uh, they're for ventilated brakes, that's why. They later switch to ventilated brakes, you haven't got those. So yeah, these are Bill Steins. They're good quality and we've got the fitting kit to go with it. Uh, BPF 1812 so that's the clips all the hardware to hold the brake pads in we've got new rubbers there for the caliper as well again I ordered them in error and uh, I don't think it's fair on the person who sent the stuff it was brakeparts.co.uk to expect them to refund me for this stuff that I've ordered incorrectly so these items are available if you can actually make use of them get in touch Ian at hubnut.org otherwise that's us done I've got my charge um, pack sitting in the sunshine well done for this one Oh yeah, there will be an extra video, um, which will be in the adult only, a short one this time, I think. Short? Yeah, and uh, we, we shall look at those items shortly, and uh, that one will not be child friendly. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Bye. Wish. <laughs>